Okay, so my video just stopped as I was starting to open my box. I still haven't picked inside. And so let's see what we get. So this is really nicely packed. And as I was saying earlier, they really need to because BDS really targets their pack edges and destroys everything and I'm sorry about my hair it just gets frizzy when the air is more humid ooh I didn't expect to get this one actually I saw people on YouTube unpacking them but because it was my first month I actually didn't expect to get this one so I'm still <laughs> expecting the other one that I'm really excited for that one <laughs> I'm really excited for this one, but I'm more excited for the next one. So, this is the Song of Songs package. The package before you is a collection of tastes and aromas from Song of Songs. Um, the selection of the products was inspired by its words and imagery. We have gathered for you the sense and feel of the land of Israel, Wine from the grapes. Oh, so there's wine in it. <laughs> Which is hilarious because I ordered wine from a kosher shop in Lisbon because we don't have anything kosher here. And I was actually scammed years ago because there wasn't online shops of kosher products and there is no kosher uh, stores here. So I ordered kosher wine from... Uh, a uh, store that is uh, sells uh, other products and is not a kosher store, but it was the only kosher wine available here at the time, and I was scammed. And it was it's a store that is still working, and the police has done nothing, and they still sell online. <laughs> um, Thirty euros. Um, not that it matters, but it's still a scam. If you're not going to sell, send me what I ordered, return my money. Or at least give it to charity, which, which I doubt. Um, anyway, wine from the grapes grown in the mountains around Hebron and organic tea made in the spirit of Ein Gedi Springs. Which is interesting because I, got, I ordered wine from the kosher store, so I'm really interested. Also, anti-aging soap and facial cream, cosmetic products made from the desert flora growing on the edges of the Dead Sea. I didn't uh, have a, a friend here. Hey. She's getting her winter coat. Um, aromatic za'atar gathered in the fields of the Galilee and sugared hazelnuts. Depicted in the Song of Songs in the Garden of Nuts. Oh, that's funny. I also ordered Zatar. So it's really interesting. Uh, part of my order is actually what's in this pack. Um, we have had a dem, um, to them a pendant showing layers of selected soils taken from assorted areas of the land. Please pay attention. Opening instructions of the dark blue colored packets. At the top of the parcel is a dark colored packet. Slowly and carefully slide the black cover to the right and watch the screen. Afterwards, remove the black cover to, erupt, to unwrap the scroll of the Song of Songs. We hope the fragrances in the package will accompany you and bring a blessing to you and your family in the coming days. This is absolutely lovely. And I'm sorry if I'm not that reading properly, but yeah. I'm sorry, my hair is really all over the place today. So, ooh, I see it now. Ooh, there's a deer. Okay. Make haste, my beloved, and thou like to a, ga a gazelle. Oh, so no, it's not a deer, it's a gazelle. And it, as you open it, it runs. It's quite cute. Uh, 
and it's the morning. And I really need to start using my phone camera. Although it heats fast, so... Okay, let me put the sleeve safely, maybe in my neck of my pre previous Love Howl unbox that's right there. So this is really lovely. Good packaging. And there's the Hebrew, which you couldn't read before opening the box. But it's written in Hebrew too. Ooh, this is lovely. It smells like lavender. And with something else, maybe... Oh gosh, Elkri? Okay, I know the name in Portuguese. I don't know the name in English, sorry. Okay. This is a nice packaging, and the little packet really smells really good. Um, Elkri? It's not time, is it? Maybe. Ooh, this is really luxurious. This is um, textured, um, and uh, the letters are in high relief. This is not uh, an illusion. While there is, they are printed, and they are, um, it's embossed, right? I think it's embossed, you say. And then you have lovely gazelles and pottery motives with um, palm trees. Um, it's really lovely. You have an introduction and uh, the introduction is English. Um, I'm not really reading this. I may make a video just for this because I think it's... Sorry, this is just, uh, I'm in kind of in class, but most of my colleagues aren't being able to log on, so I'm recording this video by taking my sound off, but I'm still in class until they come all on class. So this is what the book looks like. Gorgeous illustrations. Athena, no, 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 no. Sorry. Kitty loves the computer. She really loves the computer, so um, here you have the first chapter starting. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. And it also has Hebrew in it, and this is good because it's bib Biblical Hebrew, and it has the vowel signs, so if, if you're a beginner at reading Hebrew, you really have, I'm sorry, the vowel signs that will really help you with the pronunciation. Uh, so, of course, this um, this has the Song of Songs books, and I think the illustrations are going to be the same for every chapter. Um, I think I'm going to do another video on this because this is a great, great, great book. Um, Lovely illustrations. Oh, and then you have a lovely little section for you to write your own. Uh, so it's really, uh, really lovely. Produced by Lev Howland by Numberg and Drury LTD. So it is... Um, an exclusive item to Lev Howler. Uh, so there is no ISBN, which is a shame because I'd love to be able to review it on um, um, <sighs> what's it called? Goodreads. Okay, then you have the little booklet that comes in all uh, the little um, packages. 
Real Clear His Real, and uh, this package before you is a collection of tastes and aromas from Song of Songs, written by King Solomon and canonized in the Hebrew Bible in the second century current era. Our selection of products was inspired by its words and imagery. We have gathered for you the scents and feel of the land of Israel, wine from the grapes grown in the mountains around Hebron, and organic tea made in Ein Gedi. So there is tea too. <laughs> also, anti-aging soap and facial cream, cosmetic products made from the desert flora growing on the edges of the Dead Sea. Aromatic za'atar gathered in the fields of Galilee and sugared hazelnuts depicted in the Song of Songs in the Garden of Nuts. We have added to them a pendant showing layers of selected soils taken from assorted areas of the land. We hope the fragrances in the package will accompany you and bring a blessing to you and your family in the coming days. Uh, then it has a little, uh, sorry, okay, so the class um, resumed that I had to interrupt my video, but it's still on, and sorry, my hair is even worse. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, um, as I was unpacking this, I still only have seen one item um, and I already lost it. Where did I place it? Uh, maybe the cats. I don't know. Uh, perhaps the box is on top of it. Where did I put it? Uh, maybe the previous love haul box. Okay, so it was the song of songs, and uh, okay, it's here. So I put it in my backpack for what? Not my backpack, my computer uh, bag. So this is the item, and we already seen this item, I think. I'm fairly sure it was a few hours ago and so this song of songs is a an item that was created by Namburg and Rory and I probably should fix my light a little better maybe it will help with um, the quality of the image. Not sure. Okay, so it says that Nanberg and Rodi printed printing graphic design company, which was founded by two cousins, Yehuda Namberg and Yair Drodi, a close neighbor of Lev Haolam. Namberg and Drodi is located in Kvaritsyon and has been in business since 2013. They focus on high quality printing and design on all sorts of materials, including fabrics, paper, glass, and more. I'm sorry, it's just, just thinking about it. I don't know if any of you heard about it, but there was a terrible crime in that area, and the founder of La Paola is actually an attorney. And I saw an interview because of this situation. The poor mother of six was brutally mur murdered by Palestinians. And, um, you know, it's really sad to see a woman which was vibrant and really loving and striving for peace being, you know, so brutally murdered. Uh, and uh, these people make a difference. They help these families. Um, 
so then you have I'm going with the second page uh, Ein Gedi the desert oasis of Ein Gedi is teeming with vegetation and wonderful clear springs located at the foot of the Judean deserts sheer cliffs that overlook the Dead Sea the sound of flowing water the chirping of birds deer's hooves on the surrounding rocks break the silence of the desert silence i'm sorry for thousands of years engedi has drawn to it people seeking seclusion spiritualists in need of solitude and quiet quiet or even rebels in need of a place to hide among its palms and streams relics i'm sorry uh, okay, it seems everyone today is interrupting the video. Sorry about it. Um, and the thing is, I, if I start recording again, it won't be my first reaction to it. So, uh, yeah. Among its palms and streams, relics of the ancient kingdom of Judea have been found. The appearance of its vineyards are used in the Song of Songs as an alle alle allegory for beauty of the daughter of Jerusalem's beloved. The young David found refuge among, among its cliffs while escaping King Saul's unwarranted wrath. Bar Kokhba's rebel soldiers hid out in the surrounding caves from the Roman legions and left behind letters and scrolls, scrolls that were discovered only in the 20th century. With the renewal of the State of Israel, a settlement was established there and was extremely isolated from the rest of the country until the 1967 victory which returned the lands of Judea and Samaria and made possible a much more direct and accessible roads coming down from Jerusalem. In prophecies of the future, En Gedi is designated as the place that water springing from the rebuilt temple will flow into. Fresh waters that will sweeten the salty Dead Sea and will become a source of healing and renewal. In those days, the prophet Ezekiel tells us that when life overcomes death, the fishermen of Ein Gedi will stand on the shores of the Dead Sea among trees whose fruit shall not fail and whose leaves shall not wither and they shall find a multitude of fish. Um, so, this is interesting because it's very on theme with this month's product. Um... And I like how they create a theme for their products. And it's really, really lovely. Next, um, there's an article on the source of uh, one of their products, uh, which is essentially Herbs of Kedem. Uh, Herbs of Kedem is not just any beauty products company, and its founder and leader, Dr. Amir Kitron, is not just any beauty product company CEO. Explains Amir, the word Kedem in Hebrew means both ancient and forward. This is what we are trying to do at Herbs of Kedem. Take the ancient plants of the land of Israel, Plants that are often mentioned in the Bible, such as hyssop, and find new forward-reaching applications for them. How Herbs of Kedem does this merits no small amount of appreciation for Amir's effort. Twenty years ago, Amir founded a research center supported by Ben Gurion University and financed in part by the Israeli Ministry of Science and he has led 20 years of research on the unique flora of the land of Israel found specifically in the Judean desert, a rare geological phenomenon where the steep climatic transition 
between high elevation mountains to the extremely low elevation Dead Sea, found just 30 kilometers eastwards, creates a high stress environment for plants that yield some of the most unique and potent, potent herbal medicines available. This findings of the research center allows Herbs of Ketam to do what many other smaller makers of natural products are not able to, create the highest quality all natural personal care products with the official cosmetic licensing for its products. The research center also works to map, study and preserve the unique flora of the area. It's not simple to receive the licensing for an ever before used plant in Israel, and we are at the forefront of doing this so that we can use all the plants we work with complete licensure. Our products are also licensed in Canada, England, and Australia, explains Amir. It has taken years of research to find ways to use these plants and we produce everything we make with completely natural ingredients and also strictly with edible ingredients so that children and pregnant women can always use our products. Hey Athena! You can see my kitty. Um, we have found unique ways of stab stabilizing creams with antibacterial plants and we use airtight containers to preserve the products. In addition to this incredible work with Herbs of Kedem, Amir is also a real force in the region in which he lives in the South Hebron Hills. He and his wife chose to settle in the settlement of Tene Omari because they wanted to live somewhere where they could easily make a difference and a difference Amir has made. This is quite a long article. Um, Uh, let's see. I, I think they no longer have a month in this. Uh, though he has been encouraged to take this his company's plant elsewhere, somewhere it would be easier to attract top-notch employees, he has always insisted on it remaining where it is, quite the drive from any populated area, in order to encourage local entrepreneurship and provide job, jobs in the area. Often we find we are fitting the job to the person we are able to hire, rather than finding the best person for the job, so to speak, so that we can employ those who live locally. That's the most amazing thing about supporting this box. This box is made to support local businesses and local people. It's um, it's really amazing, and I think it's it's a great approach because um, I think the company actually thinks outside the box because it's starting to work with people's skills, and uh, it's it's really a good. I I think it's original. It's risky, but it's a good idea because we have our strengths and. We are not cookie cutter people that fit a certain job. And so often when we get employed, we have such great qualities, but we end up not fulfilling our full potential because we are working to fill a job and the needs while probably not benefiting from our full potential. Amir relates that his company employs many Russian immigrants whom he says are natural salespeople for their products as plant-based beauty and care products have long been very popular in Russia and many of the company's customers are Christian Russian tourists who love to visit Israel. Amir himself learned to speak Russian when the large influence of Jewish Russian immigration took place in Israel many years ago. Amazingly, Amir speaks no less than six other languages in addition to his native Hebrew. Amir has been very active in his community 
in areas unconnected to his work. We moved here in the community's earliest days when there was no running water or, or electricity. Conditions like this make you want to get involved, Amir says. One very poignant story of Amir's community involvement is how he insisted against resistance from some community members to allow a contractor who had gone bankrupt to rent a small trailer in their community. Others were worried he couldn't pay rent, but I advised patients. This man went to rebuild his business so successfully He then donated the building of the community's first synagogue, which is another story in and of itself, loves Amir. He goes on to relate how in the early years of the community, no one there was at all observant of Jewish law and customs. The only religious thing we ever did as a community was to pray together on Yom Kippur. But then the time came and some members of the community wanted to clear out a storage space where all the books and things used for that yearly prayer were kept, and one particular woman led the resistance to this plan. She encouraged a group of us to begin to pray together on Friday nights. One thing led to another, and I, and eventually my entire family, became religiously observant. This is such a beautiful, such a beautiful story. We were always very Zionist and connected to the land, but we didn't express this by keeping Jewish law. Now we understand you cannot love the Jewish people and their history and not love and respect the, sp the scriptures. And it works the other way around as well. When in the past we would drive to Jerusalem on Shabbat, we would be moaned that the temple has not yet been rebuilt. So Mir was a real force in overseeing the construction of the synagogue in his community, and yet he has said he said he himself didn't know why they chose to build a synagogue as large as they did. We were rarely more than ten people at any given prayer. People were laughing at us. I was laughing at us. While well, some time passed and the evacuation of Gush Katif occurred. The residents who'd been forced to leave wanted to move together in groups to new communities. Amir was active in convincing his community in Tenne to absorb half of one of the settlements of Gush Katif. Initially, there was a lot of resistance because they, these were religious families and ours wasn't a religious community. But in the end, 80% of the community voted to support their absorption. It meant certain things needed to change in our way of life. But in the long run, I think everyone sees it as a good thing for our community. We are now a magnet for many couples who are themselves a mix of religious and non-religious, as we are real people of how different flavors of Jews can live together. I don't really like all these distinctions anyway. I don't think they're real, Amir continues. My family really benefited from the newcomers. My, da my daughter ended up marrying a boy from Gush Katif families. And anyhow, with the arrival of the new residents, our once mostly empty large synagogue filled up. Herbs of Kedem is happy to provide Lev Haolam's customer with an all-natural face soap and cream in this month's basket. Amir advises using them together to give your face a beautiful, clean, and moisturizing glow. So, uh, this is the next product, and I'm just going um, to read the description here, and I know this is going to be a long video, but I think sometimes When people open these boxes, then they're not giving it the real love the boxes deserve. They're just showing you the product. And, you know, you, this box has a real soul. It has a real soul. And I think it's about the people that make it. And I think we should um, embrace this um, and show their culture 
and the history behind the products and the, um, the box. Anti-aging night cream and face soap by Herbs of Kedem. With a growing demand for natural alternatives to beauty products, Herbs of Kedem has been developing herbal 100% natural cosmetics licensed products for the last 20 years. Many of the products are made from rare and endemic Dead Sea region plants studied and cultivated by the company, along with Dead Sea minerals. minerals. The products are based on some 20 years of research led for the past 17 years by Dr. Amir Kitron, the company's CEO, who was the founder and until recently the scientific director of the Judea Regional R&D Center, academically supported by the Ben Gurion University in the Negev and financed in part by the Israeli Ministry of Science. The Turkey Tron is also a faculty member in the chemistry department in Ariel University, teaching a course on pharmacognosy, the identification of medicinal components in plants. So, you actually know that the product you're getting is high quality. And I know there is mailboxes in the background that I opened yesterday. So this is the product that uh, the long article was talking about and this little description. So I like the names Mayan and Zohar. Herbs of Kedem, anti-aging solution for facial skin cleansing skin cleansing skin cleans cleansing and also as french in it lotion anti-age purifiant de la peau du visage um so the ingredients are very natural ingredients um although it has um the scientific names aqua water the sodium co uh, um, for the acetate, cocomidopropyl betaine, sodium chloride, glycerin, xanthan gum, fragrance, supplement, ilicrisium italicum extract, citral. So this is the, uh, the, um, the fragrance extract. So very minimal ingredients. It's a small list. That's what I like in products. I'm not a very heavy lotion cream user, but I like p uh, things with natural ingredients. So I really value these natural products. Um, and uh, so... It says anti-aging solution for facial skin cleansing. Apply a small amount onto skin, massage gently and wash with water. Avoid contact with the eyes, no chemical colorants, preservative solvents, stabilizers or fragrances added. Um, preferably store in cool place, best before marked under the box. 120 milliliters and um, again the rest of the information is the same that was on that article I think you can kind of read a bit um, so this is the cleanser let's open and see and it's, it also has Hebrew on it um, and again, it's nicely packaged. It has the website www.kedem.bio. Um, it's it's likely vegan. I don't know if this is cruelty free or vegan. The the little rabbit. So it has a nice pump. Hang on, I think it's open. Okay, I can't use the pump. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not using the... Something's wrong with the pump. Well, the pump seems to be... Maybe I need to turn it more? I don't want to damage it. But, okay, I'll do something I shouldn't do. But I don't want to damage the pump. Okay, let it fall because I don't want to touch it with my hands. Okay, a tiny amount has fallen on my hand. So, this has a gel structure. And you can see it's sudding here. It smells... It smells like herbs. I can't identify the herb it smells like, but it smells like herbs and it's fresh. Um, it looks like one of those aloe uh, creams. Uh, that's the gel structure it has. And it's a great... Um, it's, does, it's not tacky. Now the second product from Herbs of Canon is this Zohar Anti-Aging Facial Night Cream for Normal to Oily Skin. Um, and uh, it's also said in French, Crème Anti-Age de Nuit pour le Visage pour Peau Mixte à Grasse. Uh, again, you have the little introduction that I am not reading because uh, I already read the full on article. So the ingredients of this um, anti-aging cream are water, jojoba, oil, shea butter, not reading the scientific name now, alcohol, uh, salt, avocado, oil, apple, leaf extra, carnauba, wax, cannabis, sativa seed oil, um, sorbitan oleate, uh, cetereal olivate, sesame oil, um, palm, uh, shea butter, I think I already said that, uh, geranium maculatum oil, fennel, lavender, uh, it has a lot of plants, that's for sure. Then they have uh, flower, uh, lavender extract, grapefruit extract, uh, olive extract, uh, coriander extract. I'm not, this one has a lot of ingredients, but they are ingredients, uh, natural ingredients and from organic farming. So, again, you have um, um, the little bunny. So I think, the, I think the bunny, it's, it says it's vegan or cruelty-free, I don't know. And there's a lovely packaging, slightly different from the other one, but I think this pump will not fail me. Um, so let me try, okay, it's not, I think it has to, okay, ooh, now that's too much. Mm, it's a lovely scent, it smells like a bit of, um, baby oil and, ah, uh, I love this scent. And again, it's not tacky. So it's something that I don't I don't like. I don't usually use creams because I don't like um to feel greasy. I I used to have an obsessive compulsion for washing my hands alleviated by hand sanitizer. So I don't really like text um, tacky things. Oh, this smells great. You can really definitely smell the lavender. Oh gosh, there's a rub. Remind me, reminds me a little of what we got 
last month, which is was one of my favorite products of the last Lev Howland box. And I think uh, this people tend to get this in the introductory box. It's an amazing product. This was one of my favorite products. I definitely recommend this one. And I am certain that after trying this one, I will definitely recommend it. It smells just as nice. And the texture is amazing. A little more... Um, Ah, oh, it smells so good. A little more um, fatty than the other one, but doesn't leave residue. So that's something that is really important to me when I purchase a product is the leaving no residue because I don't like the feeling of tackiness. And these products do not leave any residue um, this one has a neutral scent, and this one, this one has a lavendery kind of smell, maybe a bit citrusy, but it's, uh, it seems to be a good product. Um, this one definitely is an amazing product, so I'm fairly certain this will be a great product as well. So, since I already read the article that came with it uh let's see uh I, i'm not showing the images am i uh the next product um is the liba de alma uh, necklaces but and vash um and uh, again it's the people behind the products uh i think in the other um Left Howl box. I didn't read a lot because I think that's an introductory box, and so people are likely to get the same box. So this one, I don't think new subscriptions are going to get it. So I'm more considered to read the content of uh, the little pamphlet. So. Um, the people behind the products. There is an ancient custom of kissing the ground when arriving in the land of Israel. Soil is soil, says Bat El Dvash, the maker of Liba de Alma necklaces. But in Israel, the soil is the soil of our forefathers uh, walked on. The soil our forefathers walked on. I'm sorry, I'm so... I read so fast that I, I, my speech doesn't keep up with how I read. It is the soil we fought for and the soil we toiled to live here today. With her necklaces, but El takes this soil and enshrines it so those living far away can carry it with them wherever they are. But El had no idea to make her necklaces. Had the idea. Oh, come, oh gosh. I okay. I'm just taking off. I think this is a jewelry box. I'm really curious to see what it looks like. Uh, but Elle had the idea to make her necklaces after a chance encounter with a tourist. Our family loves to hike, and we do so whenever we can. We often hike very close to home, as there are such beautiful trails so near to us in Gush Etzion. Ooh, that's close to where I went. Uh, but this time, we traveled to the Golan Heights where we met a tourist. I don't even remember where he was from, says Bat El. But he told my family how much he wished he could take some of the soul here home with him. I thought to myself, why can't he? And suddenly the idea was born. But El says it took some time and many iterations of the necklace before finding the beautiful model she creates now. With multicolored soil held in a beautiful vial placed on a sterling silver chain, it is very important to me that anyone who sees this necklace and doesn't know the meaning of it, will see its beauty regardless. 
Athena! Hi! 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 <laughs> she has a little... She's, she looks so cute when she has her little... She drinks water and then she gets a little water mustache. She's so cute. Um... It is very important to me that anyone who sees the necklace and doesn't know the meaning of it will see its beauty regardless. The same beauty I always see in the soil, she explains. Badel collects the soil she uses from different areas of Israel. From the Golan Heights to Mitzpeh Rimon to Jerusalem to the land of her own home. When combined together, the different colors accentuate and enhance one another. It takes an incredibly small amount of soil to make each necklace. So when I when I'm hiking anywhere and I find nice soil, I need to take only a handful of it to make many necklaces. My kids are used to me stopping along the way to collect dirt. She laughs. Usually the soil Bat L takes is from public lands, but for Jerusalem soil, she received permissions from those working in the excavations of the city of David to take some of the soil they were hauling away. Bat El brings the soil home and when she needs to relax, she sifts through it and cleans it out and then grinds it down by hand. This work is my therapy, she says. I love the feel of the soil in my hands. It relaxes me. Bat El buys the vial and the silver chain used to make the necklaces, but she collects, prepares, and assembles each and every one with her own end. So it's silver, um, or it's silvery, I don't know. Regardless, it's a cute memento from uh, Israel. Um, I love everything to do with nature, continues Batel. Although she was raised in urban Jerusalem, she says she was always drawn to Judea and Samaria. That it, this is where her friends were always from, and that as a teenager she spent much time visiting them. So it was no surprise that she met and married the boy from Bat Ain in Gush Etzion. Bat Ain is the place I was. Um, I spent time at the Midrasha. Um, um, so, I, this, okay, this is special. I'm going to wear this one. Definitely. I have not even seen it yet, but I will definitely wear this one. She and her husband and their four children live today in Ba'ain in close proximity to his parents and siblings. I love the nature here, the simplicity and the tight family culture. We live in an area of Batayim that is populated by children of that is people who were raised here and have chosen to stay and build their own homes. It creates a very deep, strong connection to the land, says Bat El. My husband and I married quite young, when he was still in the army and I was doing my national service. We each continued in our positions, even though girls will often leave their service when they marry, but it was important to both of us to continue to give. When he completed his service, we used the stipend the army gives newly released soldiers to purchase a trailer home, and we renovated it with our own hands. This also creates a deeper connection to our home, but El grows her own garden on their land. It has always been important to Batel to work from, from home as she raises her young family. She built a business where she and now others she brought to work with her bring animals into schools and teach children about them. In the past, she has created different kinds of art and even natural cosmetics. In the earliest days of Lev Haolam, members received a package of beauty products she made. But Elle's necklaces are sent to every new Lev Haolam subscriber. With this necklace, lovers of Israel can carry the land of Israel with them, close to their heart, she says. 
In fact, the name Liba de Alma is the Aramaic equivalent to Lev Haolam, meaning the heart of the world. This is beautiful. And, um, uh, again, we have lovely Bat Hel here. And it says, but Held Vash has made these beautiful necklaces provided in this month's packages, which contain the hearth from Israel from the north to south, together with her husband and four children. But El lives in Bat Ain. She loves to work with the land of Israel in the most literal sense and hopes you enjoy sporting the beauty of the Holy Land in all your travels. Okay, this... Uh is lovely packaging and you can see it has written in Hebrew um, really and it has a little deer I don't know if you can see let me take the glare out okay I think now you can read the Hebrew English is not so clear and uh, Okay, there's something in the back. Liba de Alma, the heart of the world. Enjoy owning your very own piece of the holy land. I have collected soil from throughout Israel, the north, south, east, and west, together in this special gift. You can keep Israel close to your heart. And then you have... Okay. Okay, this is hard to focus. You can... You have the map of Israel and... What I just read to you. Okay, let's open it. Ooh, so lovely, so thoughtful. And it is an handmade. And I'm going to try and take this card because there seems to be something behind it. Or maybe it's just too big for the container. Okay, I don't want to damage it. Okay, but I want to take it out to see if there's, okay, no, there is nothing behind it, so this is, okay, oh, actually there is, this is a tiny postcard that it was a little bit too big for the box, but I'm glad I risked, um, Um, opening it, so you have a lovely little postcard with a tiny, tiny deer or gazelle. I think this is a gazelle and a desert. And I like how it's multicolored because it's rep representing the different soils in the land. Um, it's really lovely. Each and every necklace is handmade by the caring and loving hands of Batel and Cheetah. Shira, oh my god, Shira does them? Okay, I know her, I know her. We collect the soil, bring it home, sift through it, and grind it down by hand. It's a meditation work for us. We love the feel of the soil in our hands. The soil here comes from the radically diverse topo topography of Israel, from the Galilee to the bank of the Jordan River. From Jerusalem to Hebron, where our ancestors are buried. Our prayer is that when someone sees this necklace, they will see its beauty, the beauty that is inherent in the Holy Land. Gosh, this is so lovely. And here we have the necklace. And it certainly looks like silver. It's luxuriously kept in place with the little sponge with a velvet cover and we have the different soils I don't know if you can tell the different colors and the lovely shane this is good and it has okay it does have the markings for silver so it's indeed silver and it's really lovely. I don't know. Okay, this is really hard. 
I think you can tell the difference of soil in it. I really need to start to record with my phone camera. But I think you can tell the difference in the color of the soil. So it's really, really lovely. And I'm putting it right away because it's really cute. And I don't know if she has put land earth from Bata in this, in this particular one, but okay. <laughs> Sorry, Kitty is messing a little with the computer. Say hi. And yeah, she's getting her uh, her winter coat, so she looks a little heavier than she actually is. Just so she's getting her winter fur back. And so this is a lo lovely little package, and I absolutely love this. It's a thoughtful present, and I think that this is silver, and even if it wasn't silver, it's a lovely little memento, and it's really original. So let's go back to our guide, because... Uh, uh, Okay, next in our guide, we have two recipes, one that is chocolate cake made with the toasted hazelnuts. Now, I'm not going to say the recipe. Um, I may even make it, uh, but okay, it has the little... Um, hazelnuts that they provide us this month and uh, maybe I should read what the producers uh, say before trying them. So coconut flavor roasted hazelnuts by Giri Misrahi. At a first time contributor to Lev Haolan, Giri Misrahi is a family business established in 2013 by Giri Misrahi who has over 40 years of experience in the food industry. This company export, imports and markets le legumes, nuts, dried fruits, spices, and other food products to a diverse clientele across the country, including their customers' food chains, industrial factories, wholesalers, stores, and restaurants. Gadi Mishai, believes that the quality of the products and their prices are important, an important element in the sale of their products, so they endeavor to provide their customers with high-quality products at a fair price. These hazelnuts were roasted and packed in the Jordan Valley, and you can enjoy them straight from the package or try baking them into a delicious dessert. Um, so you have the coconut hazelnuts. Um, again, it has a quote from Song of Songs. Really on team with the... Okay, I want you to see the Hebrew. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's really lovely packaging. Um, so the ingredients are hazelnut, sugar, roasted coconut, and natural flavors. It may contain soy, sesame, or gluten in terms of allergens. Um, it has per, it has 150 grams and each 100 grams has 514 calories and 30 grams of fat. And my cat just claimed my Lev Howlon box. <laughs> She's so cute. See? Subscribe to Lev Howlon. Even your cats love Lev Howlon. I'm sorry. Uh, this is showing my address. Even your cats love Lev Howlon. <laughs> Even the kitty loves Lev Howlon. Can you see? 
Okay, I'm sorry. This was just too precious. Okay, so uh, this was manufactured by Shamama Bahir, kosher under supervision of Beit Yosef, and it expires one year from production date. Okay, and uh, roasted and produced in Israel with love. The packaging is very rich and lovely. This looks almost like almonds. And uh, I don't want to eat them because I want to try their recipe. And so, well, there's enough for the recipe, even if, if I take a couple. Since it's 150 grams, the recipe calls for 100 grams. So, mmm. This is very lovely. This is scrumptious. Not too sweet. I really like the roasted flavor with a tiny hint of caramel from the coconut. It's really great. Um, and uh, you can use it in the recipe they provide. And... Um, Ooh, the recipe has Nutella. Okay. And then you have the Zatar Focaccia. So. Oh, and it's, it's amazing because it's calling for ingredients that I actually ordered from a kosher store in Lisbon. Because we don't have kosher stores here. So, and actually, I ordered Zatar from Lisbon, and I have it in this box. I didn't expect this box, because this was the box from the first month I ordered it. So, this is really, really lovely. You can see the rich packaging, really very artisanal. This is kind of, it looks green on camera, but it's actually a gold olive co color it's really lovely um let me open this okay i already damaged it a little Ooh. oh it smells so nice it smells like actually seasonings that i make myself oh mm, gosh this smells exactly like something that I do at home. This is so amazing. Okay. I will need to use this. So it says, In the meadows of Bethlehem in Galilee is a farm growing herbs and spices of the eyeless quality. Its secret magic lies in the agricultural methods developed over 70 years of farming the soil of the region. Our vision is to spread the culture of spices through a wide range of spice blends for cooking, for health, and for well-being, and a never-ending passion for creating new products. Mm. So, because this spice blend has um, um, sesame seeds, it has 360 calories for 100 grams, 6 grams of protein, 9 grams of carbohydrates, 4 grams of fiber, and then trace amounts of uh, other things. It contains hyssop, savory, sesame seeds, canola oil, sumac, olive oil, and sea salt. Um, and um, if you want to find this product, besides your Lev Howland subscription, uh, you can go to www.derech-hatavlinim.com um, 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 
www.ilk.co.il um, So this is very lovely and I'm looking forward to try it because we have a similar spice blend in Portugal but it's not the exact same thing. So again, let's read the entry for the Zatar uh, by Spice Road Farms, the Zitter Pillar family, and I'm sorry for if I mispronounce the name, has been growing spices for more than 50 years. Avi Zitter Spiller, the owner of Der Hat Tavlinim, or Spice Road Farms, grew up learning from his father Tzvi, one of the pioneers of the spice industry in Israel. After his military service in the Faculty of Agriculture and then later studying naturopathics, Avi has been continuously growing, processing, producing and marketing spices and herbs in Israel and around the world. Spice Road Farms is also unique in that it has a visitor center for the world of spices and medicinal plants. The farm serves as a visitor center for groups and as an educational center for franchise stores and businesses. The center invites its visitors to experience the powerful and exciting smells and colors of hundreds of spices and herbs laid out in the in its open market, the largest farm store in Israel for spices. And that's our Zatar. And next, uh, we'll... Oh, there's tea. But let's go for the Cabernet Sauvignon wine by Drinia, which is another thing that I ordered from the Portuguese kosher store. Um, well, not this particular wine, but a kosher wine. Benjamin Mufshovitz established Dreamia, an agricultural farm. Ooh, there were products from him in the other box. Um, an agricultural farm of grapes and beehives. In the early days of Mount Hebron in the renewed Susia community, he and his family were a part of the group which established the region in 1983. They were encouraged by the Israeli government to settle the barren lands. Benjamin loves the simple and friendly nature of the people. Susia is a quiet and peaceful place with a connection to the desert landscape. He hopes you enjoy his wine that was made with love and blessings. And again, you can see... Susia Hebron, Har Hebron. Susia is the southern Judean mountains and home to a religious Israeli community nearby. Established in 1983 under the jurisdiction of Har Hebron Regional Council. It is also the site of an ancient Jewish village which dates from the 4th century to 7th century current era that was in continuous use until the 9th century current era. The ruins of this village are most known for its synagogue's three mosaic pa panels. The eastern mosaic symbolizes the temple. On the other side of the synagogue um, is a landscape with deer and rams. The central panel is composed of floral patterns with a geometric design and a zodiac wheel. While the zodiac wheel is not inherently Jewish, this piece demonstrates that the acculturation from nearby groups as well as shows that Jewish attitudes regarding artwork and graven images slowly changed over time. Today, Susia has over 1,300 people and contains the most advanced goat's dairy farm in Israel. It is also home to many of our producers in this month's package. And this is really lovely. This is really lovely. And uh, let me get my other box, which I use to store my Left Holland products. Um, okay, okay, no, this has no address. Okay, so 
Um, this honey comes from the same producer, and you can see uh, it is real honey, and real honey crystallizes, and you can also get it to go back to its natural form, and it's a really good honey. And uh, you can tell it's real honey, it's lovely. So this is from the same farm as our wine, I think. Well, at least he has the same night. Yes, Dream, yeah, it's the same company. So last month I got the honey, and this month, if Athena allows me, Hi! Hi! Can I get my box? I'm just taking everything out <laughs> before she goes back because she will certainly go back. Okay, there's the tea. I told you she's going to go back. And here we have our wine. Very well packaged, may I add. But I think it's a good thing because the last month, no matter how well packaged it was, um, my olive oil was damaged. And then when I opened it, I lost quite a little bit of olive oil. Okay, I don't want to... I don't want to ruin the, the little bubble paper because this can be reused to protect the bottle and honestly it's uh, I, I love to blow to to use the to um, pop them but it's seriously In this uh, day and age, with the problem, the environmental problems and all that, if you can preserve as much as you can, instead of damaging it, you can reuse it to pack it, or you can recycle it. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is very well secured. This is, and I just lost my exacto knife. Okay, this is a lot of bubble wrap. And I really love, like, all the Lev Holland boxes really smell really good. I think I can get it out now. Okay, no, not yet. Okay, this is quite challenging to open. Just imagine how 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 much work they put into packaging this and make it fit into a box. That's how much bubble wrap there is in this. And I know a lot of people complain about packaging, but considering what uh BDS does to Israeli products. Be thankful that you get a lot of packaging. So this is a lovely uh, bottle of wine um, that has a gold label um, lettering. Um, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon from 2018, Yatir Hills, Israel. 
Um, it has a very pearly sheen to it. And it says the Cabernet Sauvignon 2018 from uh, Dry Red Wine, Judean Hills. Dreamia is about relationships between a mountain and the desert, man and land, earth and sky. It's about a promise, a new beginning, creation and fulfillment. This wine is made 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. Grapes ripened on the hills of Yatir, 780 meters above sea level. Aged in oak barrels for 12 months, it is now ready for you to savor. Uh, produced and bottled by Dreamia Winery Israel, dreamiawinery.com. It has 14% alcohol by 375 milliliters of volume. Uh, it has kosher certifications and um, it has pregnant uh, warnings for pregnant women even. So this is a lovely bottle and it is 375 milliliters. A really, really, really lovely. Um... So, if you live in a place where it's hard to access kosher wine, um, you, it's a good option. And I already lost it. Okay. And this honey and this wine come from the same... Hang on. Can you turn this? Maybe. They come from the same place. They... The very same producer that made the past month's uh, wine, no, the past month's honey, also produced the wine that came in this month's box. And it's a lovely product. And last but not least, um, and I'm sorry, my cat stole my box, uh, you get... Um, Another product from Angedi, Oasis Fennel Carob Blend. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Made with love in Israel, Shalva tea. Contains Israeli grown herbs, ingredients, fennel, seed, sage, dandelion, carob, and zuta. And it's really lovely, and you can read the Hebrew. I don't dare because um, I don't want to mispronounce things because I still have a difficulty with so the uh, sound. And so, um, and um, this little package says, Angeli, an ancient oasis along the shores of the Dead Sea, was known in biblical times as the source of the most rare and fragrant herbs for priced perfumes. This rob robust fennel seed, carob blend, containing herbs that can still today be found in the Ein Gedi region, is full of earthy flavors, ideal as a digestive after heavy meals or whenever you need a bit of shalva. Um, so, directions, boil water, add one tablespoon, and steep for three to over five minutes. Uh, and they have other tea blends, Arava Valley, Chamomile and Licorice, Caramel Forest, Hyssop and Rosemary. Um, then this is the Ein Gedi Oe Oasis. Then you have the Jerusalem Hills, Lemongrass and Hibiscus, Galil Mountains, Olive Leaf and Lemon Balm. Those are good if you have high blood pressure. Ella Valley, Rose and Peppermint. Shalva is an ancient Hebrew word for calmness and tranquility. Shalva tea, premium herbal tea infusions, are inspired by local plants found across the land of Israel. Each unique wholesome blend is a hand-packed with 100% natural herbal ingredients, never with added flavors or aromas. And it's kosher parve and it's best uh, before 2022 made in Israel 
Uh, Chalvate.com. S H A L V A T E A dot com. So you can also follow them on Facebook and show them some love. Even if you won't get this particular box, you can always purchase individually from these businesses um, and try to support them. And if you have a business or a company, maybe you could carry their products and import. So it's really a good, um, you know, this box is a good initiative. And you, you get lovely products that you wouldn't get anywhere else. You got the lovely necklace, the silver necklace with um, different soils from the land of Israel. And again, this is a lovely product. You get a lovely box and a lovely little note. And that has a lovely design. I don't know if um, this was designed by the artisan that made the necklace, but it's beautifully designed. And the box is, you know, it's just cardboard, but the design is so beautiful that, you know, even though it's a bit dented, but again, that has traveled for quite a long time. So... This is really lovely and really thoughtful and something you will not get anywhere else. You get real, you know, last month we got high quality olive oil, real olive oil, 100% pure virgin olive oil, something you may not get elsewhere. And then there's this little book that is really lovely this is so original i have a little gazelle running so so you know these are lovely lovely products and done and this is a book that you can not get anywhere else. These are things that are made very, very, very thoughtfully. These are this, this kind of... It's not about the value of the contents. It's about what they represent. And, you know, a nice smell and... You know, things are, have meanings, and so it's really, really good. And uh, tell, I'll tell you one thing. These hazelnuts are great. So if you can, you should really get your Left Howland box. I'm not sponsor sponsored. I pay for my own box, uh, $99 uh, a month. I th think it's about 90 euros a month. And so... I pay for this, but it's really, really worth it. And you can see they have premium, high quality products that are really, really worth it. You have the wine, you have these little, little talk tokens that you cannot get elsewhere, like the silver necklace, the book, the Song of Songs, and, um, the spice blend that you will likely not get anywhere else from the true indigenous population with the true original recipes. So I really, really heavily recommend that you get the subscription box. And even Athena loves Lev Haola. You can see. Athena is telling you to subscribe to Love How Long. It's a really great box and I heavily recommend it. So that's it for this video. Bye.
And please subscribe and tell me what you thought about this box in the comment section. It's really, really a great investment. And there's another on the way. I don't know when I'm getting it, but I'm even more excited about that one, which was the one I was expecting to get this month, but apparently I'm still getting the previous box from the month I eh, subscribed to. So, bye and see you in the next video.